hi guys welcome to accounting online today I'll show you how to edit delete and add a new nominal code in sage 50 accounts so I'll open my uh, sage software and this is the home screen for sage 50 accounts these are all the different uh, modules in sage 50 accounts uh, you can either access them from here let's say if I click on this one and uh, and then I click on supplier but I can also go on this one from this button on the top module and I can click on here also nominal codes you can also uh, amend this list of uh, modules let's say if I right click on this one yep so if I want to remove this purchase order I can click on this one so that purchase order is gone if I want to remove it uh, the invoices and credits uh, it will be gone from here and if I want to remove it the sales order I can also remove it from here but you can also bring all the nominal codes back if you click on use defaults okay so all the different nominal codes you can this is the default layout of the uh, modules tab so I click on nominal codes and this is the default uh, layout of nominal codes module you will see these this default layout if this analyzer button is clicked on this side yep this analyzer but you can also change the uh, layout of this uh, screen if you click on graph and you will see the uh, a pie chart uh, for uh, different accounting heads so sales is red and then you have purchases uh, then there are direct expenses and then we have overheads and fixed assets and taxation is here which is in blue so i'll go back to my analyzer and there is one more uh, layout for this uh, uh, module if you click on list you will be able to see all these different nominal codes in a list form so nominal codes in sage they start with 0010 which is the nominal code for fixed assets uh, starting with freehold property if you drag it down okay here uh, and this is the last nominal code double nine double nine which is misposting accounts now the question is uh, do you do we need to remember all these nominal codes which I would suggest no uh, I'll show you a quicker way of finding a nominal code so what you can do is you can also send this list of nominal codes to Excel so this is a button on top right if you click on this one so there are hundred total of total of 172 nominal codes in there and this is the uh, list of nominal codes in excel uh, okay what you can do is i can quickly save it on my desktop and i will just click here and I'll write here sage 50 nominal codes so this is the list of nominal codes in excel file with me so let's say I want to find a uh, nominal code for legal expenses so I can write legal and if I click it here you can see the legal code legal fee is 7600 and then I can write uh, travel so legal nominal code for traveling is 7400 and let me find the nominal code for cleaning So you can click on find all and then it's here 7801 okay uh, then uh, the last one let me find it for computer and I can click in here so this is computer and software so 7552 so in this way you can find the nominal code quickly in sage 50 counts so I'll close this one I'll close this uh, yes I want to and this is my sage screen so I'll click on analyzer okay you can also uh, see the uh, the breakdown of different accounting heads 
uh, to do this if you click on this button which is called expand all so this is the uh, different subcategories and subnominal codes for product sales and uh, then we have exports and these are the uh, no sales nominal code for under the export sales similarly you can see everything so uh, stocks uh, we have 5200 and 5201 so this is the opening stock in profit and loss and closing stock in profit and loss and then we have labor and these are the uh, sub nominal codes for labor of course these are the direct expenses if I go further down uh, so nominal codes for profit and loss these end at uh, 9001 they start at with sales which is 4000 and then they end at uh, 9001 okay and nominal code for balance sheet part they start uh, at 0010 and the first head is property freehold property and then you have lease property if you go further down the last nominal code in uh, balance sheet is the reserve section and that is 3200 you can also send this sheet in this way where you would see the main accounting head and then the list of uh, different uh, subnominal codes if you click on excel send to excel uh, you can send all these uh, nominal codes in excel so you can see it here what you can do is if you want to keep this file with you you can just uh, make it bold and make it yellow so this is one and then you have export sales you can also do this one and then four. see this one so in this way uh, you will see the main accounting head and the list of subnominal codes under that head so I'll just close this sheet and do you want to save it no I won't save it okay so if you just want to uh, if you click on collapse all so this is their club together and you will see all the club figures here okay now I'll show you how to edit a nominal code okay if I go to total overheads and then if I go to rent and rates uh, so these are the different nominal codes under rent and rates there is one code which is called general rates I want to amend it to the or edit it to the business rates so what I need to do is either you can click on this bit button or you can double click on here and you will open this window so in here what I need to write is I will write uh, business rates so once I've written his, this one here I can just click save and that's it uh, and if I go back to overheads and then rent and rates and see business rates is appearing there okay this is uh, how you can amend or edit an existing nominal code in say 50 counts but what if if you want to create a new nominal code so what I will do is I will again go to uh, total overheads and then uh, professional fee so what I want to do is I want to add a new nominal code in here which will be 7607 the next to the next available code uh, and I can name the nominal code as service charges so what I need to do is I'll go to this wizard button and I'll click on wizard and this is new nominal code uh, I will just write it service charges and the type is gonna be overheads yeah and under overheads I want to place this new nominal code under professional fee and this is gonna be the nominal code uh, number 7607 uh, because the last one was 7606 for the most probably for the software subscriptions so you just can click on next and no there is no open balance to enter and you can click on create okay so the new nominal create must be there 
uh, and I just want to check it so I'll click here and then I'll jump to professional fee and see this one and this is 7607 so this new nominal code 